<laughs> How are you doing, Mafia? Rafi Customs, or as we should say, the Broken Golf Show. What do we have here? We have some mail. Get a fucking knife out. We have some mail from those good old boys. No racial slur intended. At Ionos Garage. Check them out. William McMillian and the guys at Iron Horse Garage. Fucking that is just banging. Definitely going on the fucking toolbox. No fucking love letter. Um, I might have... <laughs> you know, with all the shit that went down with the car and all that. I might have forgot. So, lots of love to all the guys at Iron Horse. Your stickers in the post. Steamy Mac finally came and it's fitted up. It doesn't come fully assembled. Um, you need to <coughs> put this gator on and this mountain you need to swap. You need to take this pipe off the old one and this cover. And then you need to put new track rod ends on and the locking nuts off the old one unless you bought new locking nuts, which I didn't. So I've used the old one. What I've done I've measured from this nut to this nut 47 and a 16th that is and this is now 47 and a 16th and when I wound the old track rod end off I measured from the lock nut to the end of the rack of this arm of the rack and wrote it down and made sure that I set the, the same length when I put the nuts on so double check there and We'll do the tracking after we've fitted it. What we've got to do now is try and fucking get it on top of that subframe. Look. Get the beefed up fucking sump, look. Chunky sump. Um, so hopefully, it won't put up too much of a struggle and we can get it in. Fitting the fucking everything, the everything back together. We've got everything done bar the exhaust and the steering column, tracking. So we've fitted <sighs> new drive shaft, reconditioned steering rack. Uh, we've reconditioned the turbo, rebuilt the turbo. We've changed the uh, AC coolant pump. And that's about your fucking lot, I think. For now, that's good enough. She's done. She's fucking done, Captain. She's done, dusted, washed, tracked, cleaned, preened. Re Fuck not that you'd know, look at that glass. But there we go. Fucking cars back in one piece. Running like a fucking Swiss watch, kid. No leaks, no bumps, no bangs. Nothing untoward. Just fucking great stuff. So the L666 back on the road. Onward and upward, my friends, onward and upward. And as regular visitors will be aware, this is not how my workshop usually fucking looks. So this morning's jolly is to do a couple of last bits on the car. Put this fucking look, you, you see, you don't see this look. Hold on, let me break for a second. I'm not gonna make that all today, obviously. This look. You don't see this on the fucking TV. 
where they've got trolleys and trolleys full of dirty fucking kit everywhere and ports knackered old ports where they don't belong and so on and so forth <clears throat> I even had to make a fucking ceiling washer from a power steering you see the remnants not the Rembrandts I'll be there for you the remnants of copper so we need to get this back into a, a serviceable shape today everything back where it needs to be ready to plough on next week with this fucker this is what we're doing next week the old send of that we're going to uh, reconfigure the swing arm and the mounts and the frame and sort the shocker mounts out and look at the drive train and in the same time we're going to uh, not at the same time but this month we're going to get this front wheel back in all bolted up on its new adapter and look at mounting the caliper so so that's what we're doing front wheels going out of that big red beast i've got to go and collect that that's been in the fucking tie fitters a week because i've not had a vehicle to go and get it I, you know i can't go and pick up a 21 inch front wheel on me fucking diner can i i ain't doing that shit so get the front wheel for that then we can take measurements and then we can see about the uh Extended forks, new tubes. There might be enough in there. I'm hoping there's enough in there. But we'll see when we get down to it. So, there you go. All in all, a fucking busy morning. <sighs> and relax. All the tools are cleaned. I use a fucking, some shitty old fucking rag to fucking scrub them clean. Um, with a bit of fucking panel wipe or brake cleaner because these get real fucking dirty you know and the last thing you want to be doing is a job and get dirty off your tools <coughs> all of these get a wipe down everything gets squared away in the toolboxes ready for another job um so that's me fucking practically back up to where i was before the car went bang so i've lost a good fucking week of workshop time and um, what I'm actually doing is Friday time of filming and I'm cleaning the diner because that got used as a daily through some shitty weather so I'm just polishing the fucking to me valentin kit look chem clean stuff polishing the wheels which is a cunt to do but they look lovely when they're done and everything else gets a quick detailer nice and clean it's not too shabby I've got a detailing bag that I use all car chem. Uh, I've got a fucking load of auto glim stuff as well. And loads of various different wash, wax, scratch remover, waterless, cream cleaners, fine cut, mops, polishing kit, the whole lot. As you do. So, we're back in some sort of severance of normality. We've got the Triumph calf racer that I need to get on with this winter. We've got the Suzuki 600 that I'm intending on making a nice little rigid that I want to keep. We've got Nicky's trike needs a bit more love. We've got the front end needs checking and changing and sorting out on the big chopper. Harry the bastard. He needs fucking fork oil seals weeping. I've got the seals and I'm thinking about doing a jockey shift suicide clutch for him. And of course, We've got the motor Martin that needs a bit of love. So, there you go. Stay tuned. Let me flip you around. So, yeah, a fucking mad week. I don't know where. Let's spin around. I don't know about you, but I'm glad that fuck is over. Normal service will be resumed starting Monday. So, I'm going to finish cleaning my bike. A little bit more this morning, then I've got some errands to run. Now I've got a car that fucking works. And then we're back in here for coffee morning tomorrow. Um, I'm back on with the week. I'll see you on Monday. Thanks for watching. It only leaves me to thank everybody. Thank all of my subs, all of my new subs. Keep the likes and the comments coming. I'll stay in touch as much as I can. Check out my friends in the description below. And if you go and uh, leave a comment saying it came from me, That'd be fucking great. 
Lots of love, everyone. See you soon.